Estoy haciendo este video para platicarles algo que nos está sucediendo ahorita con, con el grupo Porque nosotros tenemos un chingo de música por sacar Pero hay cosas que nos detienen Y una de esas, pues no hemos recibido ni un pago los últimos ocho meses No hemos recibido ni un pago de toda la música que ya hemos sacado Las canciones siguen generando vistas, siguen generando reproducciones No las bajan Siguen, o sea, siguen generando feria Y nosotros no hemos recibido ni un centavo y lo segundo que está pasando, mi gente, es que nos quieren quitar el nombre. Esta persona dice que, que el público se confunde con uno y el otro, que le estamos quitando su público. Y yo pienso que eso es muy culero de su parte que diga eso, porque en realidad no es así. Todo es diferente. Los... También se me hace injusto, sí, para el artista, pero para mí también. Pero en situaciones así, es muy difícil tomar responsabilidad cuando estos problemas son causados por otras personas. Y pues cuando están casados por otras personas, yo soy el que está en el medio de, de todo eso. Y se me hace injusto para la vista, para mí, pues para todos. Nivel codiciado, nivel codiciado. Now, at least we know why they haven't dropped an album in like a year. They haven't gotten paid in eight months. Now, if I was them, that's understandable. If they haven't got paid in eight months, I wouldn't be dropping music either. Even if the fans were asking so much for it, even if I was at the top of my peak and I wasn't getting paid for the music I was doing, I don't care, I'm not dropping music. Cause come on man, that's your craft, that's the stuff you're working on. Obviously, you're in love with the music and you do it for the passion of music, but if you're not even getting paid for it, come on man, no, no one's gonna want to pursue that. Now, prior to Toda Su Tiempo dropping two weeks ago, their last drop was freaking like last year and it was a single it wasn't even an album it wasn't an ep it wasn't nothing so basically nivel is wanting to be independent and they want to drop music but haven't been able to because the label they left which is dmg deluxe music group is not paying them and obviously if you're getting the amount of streams nivel has in eight months i'm not gonna lie that's a pretty fat check so like i said If I was Nivel Codiciado, I'd be pretty pressed too, because with the amount of streams that they're getting, they're getting <laughs> they're getting a lot of they're getting a lot of streams and they have dropped a lot of bangers. So with the amount of streams they're getting, they will be getting a fat old check. So I'd be pretty mad. Now I'm not too sure on how all that music stuff and royalties gets. I'm not sure how all that works, so don't quote me on this. But I do believe the minimum amount of time you're supposed to wait for a payment on your royalties and your music streams is about six months. Now, if you're waiting more than six months, um, I'd say it'd probably be like a year or probably be even eight months. You should probably already be getting paid. Now, if they are getting paid in, in about a year, which I'm not sure what they signed, but if they are getting paid in about a year, They could wait at least four more months. Um, if they wait four more months, those four more months are gonna count and those streams are gonna rack up as long as they keep dropping like at least one or two songs, you know? So if they end up dropping in about those four months and if they did sign that contract, like I said, I'm not sure what they signed. If they end up getting paid in those 12 months, that check is gonna be even fatter, my boy. But obviously, who's gonna wanna drop music in those four months if you're not even freaking getting paid? So yeah, there's definitely something going wrong there. But if you guys haven't seen the interview they did with Duno on the No Jumper podcast, they stated on the podcast and they told Duno that the business with DMG Deluxe Music Group was not professional at all and they felt basically uncomfortable because they felt like it was an amateur business. Now, um, don't know the owners personally and I haven't worked with them business wise, but I have met up with one of the owners here in LA and he's a pretty cool dude. So. I don't want to burn any bridges with them. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not on anyone's side. I'm just basically reporting the news on what Nivel Codiciado said. So just to put that out there, I'm not on anyone's side and I'm not throwing any shade to any of the owners. They do their business how they do it. And like I said, I'm just reporting the business. But not only did DMG lose Nivel Codiciado, they also lost Jose Mejia as well which is another OG to DMG. Now, if you're not too familiar with Deluxe Music Group, Jose Mejia and Iver Codiciado are literally the OGs of DMG and literally brought DMG to what, to what they are. Now, in DMG's, they will probably, in DMG's eyes, they will probably say, nah, they blew up because of us, but realistically, like not being biased but nivel codiciado and jose mejia literally brought up dmg to what they are now but also like i was saying jose mejia also left 
DMG. So I wouldn't be surprised if the same situation is going on with Jose Mejia. Because honestly, his situation is probably even worse. He hasn't dropped not even a single in probably two years. And that's pretty fucked up. Not only has he even dropped a single, but he hasn't even been active on social media. Now, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'll be DMing. I DM him all the time and he doesn't even respond to any of them. He, he replies to my stories, but he doesn't respond when I text him. However, the owner of DMG responded to what the singer of Nivel Codiciado said. However, the owner of DMG responded to what the singer of Nivel Codiciado said, saying basically the issue is not his and that it's someone else's. Now, as the owner of DMG, if it's not your issue, then whose issue is it? Because you're, off of my knowledge, you're the main CEO of DMG, and if it's not your issue, then you should handle whosoever issue it is. Whoever is in charge of distributing your music, I don't know who's doing what business, off of my knowledge, I believe it's just the owner, um, Brian, and then it's the other owner, Junior. Now, I'm not sure who's in control of, of paying who. Now, if they have employees handling the royalties, then as the CEO of DMG, Brian is supposed to hit up the person, whoever's in charge of paying. They should hit them up as the owner of DMG and say, hey, man, do your job. Pay up Nivel Codiciado. But yeah, like I said, I'm not on anyone's side. Hopefully, Nivel Codiciado gets paid so they could get that whole situation handled and so they could finally drop music. Now, DMG isn't the only people that Nivel Codiciado is having issues with. Apparently, they're having lawsuit problems because of their name, Nivel Codiciado. And if you guys didn't know, Eric from Grupo Codiciado, which is not even Grupo Codiciado anymore. Now, I think it's just Codi Loco or, or Codiciado or Eric Codiciado. I'm not sure what his artist name is now, but apparently he's a solo artist now. And because he's falling off and because he hasn't had any hits um, in about two years, he is looking for drama and is looking for problems. About a month ago, he was saying on his story, basically bashing Nivel Codiciado for their name and saying they're not original. Now, in Nivel Codiciado's defense, he said that the style of Nivel Codiciado is completely different compared to Grupo Codiciado, which it most definitely is completely different. First of all, Nivel Codiciado started off with a little, obviously as a group starts, you want to start off with the traditional Ariel Camacho, but then when all the Bajoloche, sti when all the Bajoloche stuff started popping up, that's what they got, that's what they got popping for, that's what they started being known for, is the Bajoloche style. Now that all that Bajoloche stuff is dying, they are moving on to, I don't know, Charchetas, Tololoche, that's what's really popping right now, so I'm assuming that's what they're going to start doing because they dropped Toda Su Tiempo and that's how it is. But Jesus from Nivel Codiciado, the singer, does have a point. Um, the styles are completely different, and I don't see why Grupo Codiciado, or pff, I keep messing that up. I don't don't I don't see why Eric from Codiciado should be even considering suing them for their name. But I guess maybe Grupo Codiciado registered the name, and nobody's even able to have Codiciado in their name at all but basically in the video Jesus from Nivel Codiciado was basically saying that they are in a very high risk of losing that of losing that case and if they do lose that case they're gonna basically lose their whole name which involves getting paid which now honestly I don't know how all that stuff works legally but I'm assuming if they lose the Nivel Codiciado name that means that they have no rights to their music which means they the, the company DMG wouldn't even have to pay them legally. They wouldn't have to pay DMG. They wouldn't have to pay Nivel Codiciado. Now, if they want to, they can. But if they want to be assholes, DMG doesn't even realistically have to pay them legally. Now, that's off of my knowledge. Now, honestly, if I was Nivel Codiciado, I completely understand them. I understand why they're in an outrage right now. Because their Instagram page has about 100,000 followers. Now, me with 60,000 followers on Instagram, I would be shitting it if I had to restart completely. Now, them, they would restart completely with a whole different name. Now, I would restart with the same name as Richie. But they have to restart from literally Nivel Codiciado to a whole ass different name, to zero followers, to zero streams, with zero music. Now, they're gonna have to come back up now they're simply just asking for their fans if anyone has ever liked a single song or any verse or any of their songs to support them with their new project if they do end up losing the the case which in in my opinion it's looking like they might lose it but hopefully they don't because 
Nivel Codiciado is already stamped in the industry. I believe that they are a very good group and they have already made a name for themselves and everyone knows them as Nivel Codiciado. Now they would lose a lot losing their name Nivel Codiciado, but if they do end up losing that case, hopefully they get that name back up. But anyways, you guys, basically, uh, hashtag pray Nivel Codiciado. Hashtag pray for Nivel Codiciado because they are in some pretty sticky situations right now, as well as Jose Mejia, I believe in his, he is in a sticky situation himself as well, but he's just too afraid to speak, or he just doesn't, or he just knows too much and doesn't want to speak on the situation. Maybe this, maybe his situation is a lot worse and he prefers not to speak on it at all on social media. Maybe he's trying to deal with stuff privately, as for Nivel Codiciado, they're trying to do the stuff publicly so that his fans know, because obviously, um, no offense to Jose Mejia, but Nivel Codiciado has a much bigger audience and they still have been dropping music here and there there is no issue there's completely no issue with being in Jose Mejia's shoes and wanting to work and stuff privately that's honestly the much more professional way to handle it rather than just um, speaking on it through public now there's no problem with telling your fans your situation because they're supposed to know they're your fans and they need to know this kind of stuff but anyways y'all I hope y'all enjoyed the video if you guys are new make sure you guys drop me a subscribe like and drop me in a comment what do you guys think Nivel Codiciado is going to do are they going to lose their name are they going to have to start from zero and are do you guys think they're going to get paid i honestly hope that they do get paid and hopefully Nivel Codiciado gets everything situated and yeah that's pretty much it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one saludos